the Red State Update Podcast, 2022 Midterm Election Edition. Here they are, both of them. Hey, hey, welcome, Red State Update. My name's Jackie Bros. Folks, people, it's Dunlap. We've made it through another election. Oh, that's right. There's elections, wasn't it? Yeah. Jackie and I have been doing these elections for a long time now. We lived through a bunch of them. Some of them is hard to sleep through, and then other ones, it's like, ah, oh, hell, was it mad you go on to sleep? But these last few kept me up, so I apologize if I'm a little, uh, well, you dr- drowsy, dr- dr- uh, yeah, if I was drowsy, or what's the word I'm looking forward to, drizzy, drowsy, uh, that's why I was up all night looking at it, and it was like, really? Well, well, oh, really? Well, maybe. All right. It's still going on now because uh, of damn Arizona. We want to uh, count our ballots like, uh, I guess, a, a stupid state does. All the other states can count the damn ballots over and over again. In Arizona, you got to look at the name and look at the other name and then flip it over and then let the 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 militia man look at it a few times and then he folds it up and then passes it on to the Democrat and Republican on and on. So they say that might be till Friday before we know what happened in Arizona. Arizona is like the Australia of America, but without any cool animals. Always something there that's going to kill you. Half the time it's somebody with a gun. Well, yeah. There's no kangaroos hopping down the damn highway. Disappointing. If they really want people to move to uh, Arizona, which I don't think they do, well, let's say somebody did want people to move to Arizona, they should get rid of the damn uh, uh, people with guns at the voting booths and bring in some kangaroos. It's sand, rocks, and empties. It looked like a kangaroo would do all right there to me. I don't know the specifics of it. Yeah. I'd look into it. If somebody knows uh, kangaroo uh, anatomy, what they eat. It's not really fair to the kangaroo just to uproot if all the places they could go. I don't know if they're going to pick Arizona. I mean, I understand if they had, you know, if they'd want to go somewhere else. Listen. Actually, I, I take it back. Kangaroos do not come yeah. to Arizona. I've heard people I like, in Australia. I like kangaroo. I yeah. like kangaroo. I don't yeah. want it. Yeah. They'll just shoot them. I mean, they're just going to shoot a kangaroo. Well, now, yeah. Most people would be happy. Listen, folks, I'm sorry if you live in Arizona and you're cool. Most folks would be, it's not often. We're from Tennessee. It's not a lot of times that we really just get to let loose on another state. And honestly, you, we really should be. It's, it's Glass Houses time over here. Not the Billy Joel album. You know that one? You know what? That one, Jackie? That one ever get stuck in your truck tape player? Uptown Girls. And when I, no. Yeah. No, that's a different one. He's got more than a few. Well, if it's, just, if it's Uptown Girls is on it, then I like it. Yeah. Yeah, so kangaroos don't come to Australia because... Can- they they just they just want to shoot you. They just want to. Uh, I've heard people in Australia say kangaroos are like the deer of Australia because they run into your damn cars. I am. So I don't know. I wonder what kangaroo tastes like though. I ain't never ate it, but people they eat. You know, people eat it. Yeah. They look like it's too much muscle. They look, because every time you look at a kangaroo, they look like they, they you know, built. You know, what they, you know, they ripped, I guess, what the word is. Yeah. I've had my ass kicked by human men and women uh, who weren't half as well built as your average kangaroo. Kangaroo, if that those f- forearms there, yeah, like I, you know, people because you know thing old box kangaroo because they box, they do, they 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 got you know no pun intended the footwork in there, you know they hop around stuff, but they'll knock the hell out of you. 
They got claws, too. They won't just they'll punch you, and then they'll fucking claw you. Then they'll kick you with the damn Bigfoot. Then that tail of theirs probably does something, too. Hell, they may have teeth. And then after all that, they got a little in, in their pocket, jump out, and, and snatch onto your balls. What? I mean, they they will fuck you up, but deer ain't nothing. Hey. Watch Y'all think you big men going out there. Oh, it's deer season. I'm going to shoot me a big a big old deer with antlers. They're, deer just want, they don't know shit. Dumb. Hank Williams Jr. throws down a bag of uh, corn. Just get some, like, self-rising Martha White or something. Just, like, flour, corn, whatever you can get out of the damn pantry. Deer come down, just sit there, eat it. In Alabama, he climbs up in a tree and he shoots that deer eating a cornmeal. I I may not have all the details of that right. We talked about that once before. I think it, they were trying to outlaw, like, isn't there some kind of deer thing? It's like a safari that the truck. Trump boys, you know, go to. You go to Africa and they, they here's a watering trough. We sit here, wait for the animal to come get something to drink, and you kill it. Or uh, here's the food. Same, I don't know if that's what Hank Williams Jr. was doing, but it sounds similar to me. Basically, except it's in Alabama. Yeah, it's different, yeah. How come Crocodile Dundee, which I don't, I don't know how many of them I made. I like a first one and maybe some of another one. I don't know. I think, but... He never did uh, fight a kangaroo, did he? Which one? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know past one and a half, if that much, and I don't ever remember him fighting a kang- kangaroo, which no, don't no, make I, sense to me. I mean, there's a bunch of crocodile dundees. It's not one person. It's What? It's like uh, Smokey the Bear. What are you talking about? You put on a costume and you go out there. It's like Ron McDonald no, or whatever. I, There's a, I'm a hundred talking about of them. Original, no, I'm talking about original Crocodile uh, Dundee. The first one. My, look at my big knife one. Yeah, well, they just had a con- contest. Australia got to vote for their favorite Dundee. Well, I ain't talking about the other ones. I'm talking about that one. That one there. That's the only one that anyone ever paid money to see in this country. And... And and it was good. I liked it in Australia, but I don't remember him fighting a kangaroo watching it. And I'm, that seemed to me like, you know, you, you, it was good enough where you don't miss it right away. When the, oh, well, it was cute. That's funny. He, I like him. He's funny from Australia. But then on the drive home, you're thinking, well, how come it never did? Didn't it? I mean, you might have seen a kangaroo in it. You might have seen one early in it before it come to New York or wherever. But you don't ever see him fighting one. They seem like he should fight. Because he knows they'll kick his ass. Crocodile Dundee is smart. That's the whole brand of their army of uh, Crocodile Dundees who tour Australia, teaching kids not to set forest fires. They're not going to take on a kangaroo because they don't want to see Crocodile Dundee thrashed and and s- s- clawed and ball snatched by a little baby kangaroo. They know that would be harmful to their brand. So, no, no it, that, that's, a, that's you talk about real life, talk about the movie, sell it movie. The movie, was, that I wasn't all real. He wouldn't really come to New York. You think you're going to get an actor kangaroo? Like, oh, yeah, okay, it's a play fight. I get it. Sure, sure, I'm a professional. An actor kangaroo get on set and kick Crocodile Dundee's ass three times. Well, You can't trust them. They get out in the water and they act like they're drowning, and a, a dog comes out there to uh, kill them, and they drown the dog. Oh, the dog is a dingo. Dingo's the one that killed the, the babies. I wouldn't trust any Australian animal. I'll be honest. Let's send the let's let's send Carrie Lake to Australia and bring uh let's and leave everything in Australia there too. Yeah, she's gonna win, right? Is that gonna happen? This is Thursday night. We're talking here. We ain't heard yet. I'm I'm afraid Carrie Lake gonna be governor of Arizona, which I don't guess matters that much unless you live in Arizona. Uh. And and if you're in Arizona and you're cool, I've already apologized to you, so sorry.
maybe she won't. Maybe by the time you heard hear this, she's gotten beat and is, you know, preparing a, an invasion of the uh, state house. Uh, that's if 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 you know everybody gonna be speculating. You could turn it on whatever TV you want to sit up all night and look at. God help you, and everybody gonna say this or that, and this is why this happened. And there wasn't no red wave, and there wasn't this and what, which there wasn't. But you know everybody gonna say, well, this looks like this, and that looks like it. But it does to me. I think two or three of them won. She ain't one. We don't know about her yet. She's the one. She won the worst. They're all terrible. She won the worst. But there wasn't but like two or three election deniers that got elected to anything. Most of all of them lost. And the ones that did win are in states where they ain't even going to have to lie. It's going to be Republican anyway, so it don't matter. But anyhow, they seem like people are sick of that mess. That's what, you know, well, this is bad for Trump, which I guess it ain't good for Trump either. Right now, it seems like it's, it's, it's bad. All, all, all his people except J.D. Vance. And then, and then the ones that won, like J.D. Vance, are places that the Republicans had to spend God knows how many hundreds of millions of dollars that they normally wouldn't have to. But it seems to me people are tired of talking about losing the election and fraud and all that stuff and like, well, I don't really, you know, worry about what the hell's going on. There's enough, you know, regular terrible things uh, happening in the country. Let's let's address some of that. That's the impression it seemed to be. If I elect them, you know, it, they ain't doing a good job, but at least they seem like they tried to do something or I can elect somebody that's going to whine about something that happened, you know, two years ago or, or, or on and on. But it seems to me... If you lose and you say it was stolen, then you're just doing the the very same thing that you lost for and just make everything worse. So go on and do it, I guess. I hope no police officers are, are, are killed or anybody else for that matter while you while you yelling about it. But I guess go on and do it. I, I mean, there ain't no way to, but to, I mean, as bad as, as things are, I don't think it's any better. Uh, I mean, you got to look at it, it, what we're looking at is good so far. And still, Republicans may take a house or still may take a seat at hell. We don't know. Yeah, you wouldn't think with the Republicans being as close as they are to uh, taking everything over, still that we'd feel as good as we do about things. But I think it's because we, they was making it out to be the red wave. Oh, yeah. Uh, we know that Trump uh, is upset. It's sitting in Florida mad. Mm-hmm. And it seems like less people uh, want to kill us. Not, you know, maybe not a whole lot less, but a few. I mean, listen, if people are like, yeah, about half a country wants to kill you, and then you're like, you know what? It wasn't that much. I was listening to these, I was listening to the wrong poll people. Yeah. It's only like maybe a third, 20% of the country. Oh, well, that ain't, that ain't so bad. It, you know, your odds are better that way. You know, there you go. You got That's much listening. better odds. Less people trying to kill you, uh, saying you shouldn't exist, they're all around. Same thing, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think it, not, not, you got to look at it as being good. Now, look, you got a president that's terribly unpopular. Uh, poll numbers he, he ain't never been, you know, he been up a, a little bit when he first got in there, but since then, he, you know, he ain't doing good. You got inflation, worse than it's ever been in years and years anyway. Economy is still, oh, it's good. I don't know. It don't feel good. I can't afford nothing. No, no. Got all this going on and people looked at the two options and yeah. Decided, well, I ain't, he ain't gonna help. Of course, I say that and then there's gonna be a runoff between Herschel Walker in December. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should be that close, but I guess... no. But, hey, it's better than all of them. Let, let's just be, all just on the simple level, just the, I ain't talking about the complex uh, uh, political uh, 
machine that, that we, we try to dissect and look into and, and, and figure out how, I mean, yeah, there's all that, but just on a simple level, just like, you know, we don't have to hear any of them gloating. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a plus. They may win, have, but they're still like confused. Yo, they're real confused. Trump is, is mad as hell. You know, he throwing everything around down there, blaming this, blaming that, whoever. And and uh, Kevin McCarthy made a little uh, speech uh, last night, like, well, we're going to get the house. And, of course, today he's going, I hope to hell we get the house. And even Why if would he, he does, want to do it? I know that's the job he's been trying to get, but damn. Wake no, up. he don't. Your job sucks, man. Don't you have a chance right now? <laughs> If you get it, you're going to have to fight to get it. Then you have to fight to do it. Why don't you just like bow out and say, yeah, I, you know, maybe I'm not the man for this time. And then just do whatever it is you do easy without having to fight your teammates. He's, it's going to be with the amount of people that if he gets it, what is it going to be, two or three, something like that? Hell, we don't know, but something like that's what they're saying. He ain't going to be fighting with the Freedom Caucus. You got Mark Meredith. He ain't going to be able to do that. You, you thought Boehner had it bad. Remember when Boehner gave it up? Just like, hell with this. And there he, he, went, he went off to sell marijuana or whatever it is he did. Kevin McCarthy would be better off going, go sell some marijuana because your life's about to be living hell. You go, this is what I wanted. This is the day's come. Going to look himself in the mirror and all that. And the next thing you know, you, you stuck in an office with Marjorie Taylor Greene for two hours. Listening to her demands. It's what he deserves. It's, I, I'm, I'm, you know, they're not gloating. Nobody don't have to hear anybody gloat. Don't have to hear Trump going, ha, 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 looking, blah, blah. But you don't have to hear none of that mess. And Kevin McCarthy's going to have to sit. I guess he, he may not have to sit. Bobert? Bobert? Lord, Lord, Bobert? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, that's real close. Yeah, she made Thursday nobody saw late. We don't know right now. Uh, it ain't looking great for her, but she could pull it out, I guess. Sure. Yeah. So who knows? But either way, if if she if if she pulls it out, guess what? Kevin McCarthy has sit in the office with her for for a half a day. Then hit drinking uh, scotch or whatever it is, a drink up there, and, and talking to getting Boehner on the phone. Can I come help you sell them drugs? Best of everything I ever did in my life. Listen, McCarthy. Who was before McCarthy? It was, I, I always forget his name. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan, that's his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Paul he didn't last. He got the hell out of there fast. Yeah. Like, I just, uh uh-uh. uh. Like, what does McCarthy think he's going to do? Like he I don't do know. Nothing. He ain't going to do nothing. What would be the but, point of even doing it? How does he well, help? Like, what does he do? He's just miserable for years. You got to throw a bone to the Marjorie Taylor Greens, and you got to try to actually get some legislation that you can't help out your rich buddies and also make Marjorie Taylor Greene. I mean, that's, just, that's a line that I wouldn't want to walk. And people, and people judging by what's going on, I mean, one speculation you could think is like, well, people are sick of all this uh, uh, Trump and election stolen, conspiracy queuing up, people are tired of it, insurrection, enough of it. And then the first thing to do is start having Hunter Biden, uh, whatever, committees, and then they're going to, what, impeach Biden. I mean, I just don't think that's going to work for them. They may try it. Hell, I don't know. He'll have to throw them a bone or something. They, they may get Hunter Biden in there for for an afternoon if if they're lucky. But I don't. Yeah. Hell, he don't know what he wants to do. He don't. What does he want to do? That don't make any sense. You're right. I mean, seriously, what do any of them want to do? Uh, the cut taxes. For rich people, I cause, uh, yes, and also we need to talk about the whole take uh, rights away from women and and uh, 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 torture trans children and 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 uh, gay on and on. And yes, those are serious things. But we know a lot of those things are basically just to get people to vote for them so they can cut taxes for the rich. 
The guy, I don't know what he wants to do. Who the hell knows what he's going to do if he gets you? The one person that we would have to hear gloat, which luckily there's been a lot of other news today, is DeSantis. Oh, yeah. He had a good run last night. And, of course, that, you know, not many people we dislike as much as we dislike Ron DeSantis, but knowing how mad Trump is makes it a little, a tiniest little bit better, even though he's a little bit better. A lot of people who lives in his state. That goes for Georgia too, by the way. I, I, you know, I like Stacey Abrams, but but knowing that Kemp won and and Roethlisberger and what Roethlisberger, Berger, knowing that they they both won re-election, and it's easy to deal with that, cope with it, knowing how mad it makes. Trump. We're not as in favor of them winning. We're just no. saying, like, if they won, well, this helps take the slightest bit of the sting out of it. Not even it's really, how- but just imagining him, it gives us the tiniest bit of pleasure on a Saturday. Just, yeah, just our, our way of coping with it. Yeah, that's it. I'd prefer that they all lose. Don't don't get me wrong. You th- so you think Trump and DeSantis primary each other? Hell, I don't know. Trump's supposed to, they're already trying to talk, some people are trying to talk him out, and he's supposed to announce he's going to run, what, Tuesday, and they say, no, don't do that, and then he, of course, you can't tell him not to do something. He's going to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Then you got a runoff with Hersh Walker coming up, and it's all going to be Trump again. I mean, he just loses, I don't understand, Republicans. I doubt, he just loses the election. You know, I'm looking on the news and stuff, and people are like, well, we lost Pennsylvania. Trump has really done it to us. He, we, we lost Pennsylvania. There's nothing. We He's got to go. He caused an insurrection. He had people attack the damn Capitol for the first time since the Civil War. Y'all let that go, and now, oh, Pennsylvania's too much. So, hell, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. He, he looks bad today. Enjoy it while it lasts, because in a few weeks, uh, McCarthy could be uh, heading down there to Mar-a-Lago to get him to take care of whatever he's dealing with. Who the hell knows? Republicans still don't know what the hell they are or what they want to do. They ain't got a clue, and they're still scared. The main thing is they're all still damn cowards. You'd hope by looking at this election and seeing what happened, some of them would brave up a little bit, just man up just a little bit, but we'll see. I doubt it. You like that Fetterman, though? You like Fetterman? I like him fine. Yeah, I mean, he, he all right. I don't like how he looks, but it ain't got nothing to do with him having a stroke or nothing. Well, I don't like how a lot of people look, but I'd vote for yeah. him over over uh, Dr. Oz. Well, I just won't know he looked like that before I had a stroke, so it ain't, I ain't picking on him for that. I'm very judgmental about people's looks, but I'd yeah. vote for almost anybody over Dr. Oz. I don't care what Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah, he definitely better than that. Yeah, I know they did did do good in debate and uh, uh, stammered or whatever. I, you know, but it, what, was that when all Dr. this started? Oz when they, they, was that one of the first things of this red wave talk when he didn't do so good in the debate, and then it just seemed like he some of these polls started coming out, and everybody was just like, "Oh, I don't know anymore." I, I was scared. I just thought that I, I just figured it was it. Everybody well, said. Yeah. It was that in Wisconsin. If we win, we'll never lose another election again. That's how it felt. Yeah. And look, they're still going to get the House brought more than likely. Possibly the Senate. Maybe. Probably probably not, but possibly. Yeah. I mean, what's the, what's the best case scenario for the Senate right now? I we guess a runoff. Done. Well, I get Nevada. Well, we're waiting on three. It's Nevada, Arizona. Arizona look good. Nevada, I don't know about. Uh, if we get if we, if the Democrats get, uh, I ain't, I still ain't gone that far. I ain't ju- jumped on up. I ain't what, changed what, my register. What are you I'm hating for? What's, told, what's holding you back? I, I voted for Democrats. It's, you know, here in Tennessee, what the hell does that mean? But still, I did it. It means something to me. But now, what was I saying? The oh, it's, if they if they get. It's 49 and 48, isn't it? Something like that. You got to have uh, 51 or something. 
Right now it's 50-50 in the vice president ties. and right, So, yeah, it's those three right there. Wait and see. So if we keep it at least 50-50, then we're doing, we ain't, we ain't done no worse. We ain't done no worse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't do, yeah. Well, it definitely could have been worse all around. We all know that. And I'm like you, Dunlap. Sadly, I've lived long enough where I just kind of uh, expect the worst at these days, uh, uh, dark days. But this, I'll take it. It's a little bit of levity how long it lasts. We still got a lot of, a uh, lot, a lot of uh, things to work on in this country. A long way to go. A lot of terrible things we need to deal with. But at least we got a few less uh, uh, crazy people in the middle of it distracting everybody. I want Republicans to be sane. Trust me. That's the one thing I hope I did because we can't change it again. We. Uh, it, it, the Republicans are going to have to be the ones that make a decision to get away from Trump. And they, they, they you know, I would hope this just helps nudge them a little further away from him. That's all. Because, I, you know, I want a decent Republican. I don't, there aren't any anymore. Please don't make me say Mitt Romney. But, you know, uh, or Liz Cheney, she's gone. Well, you know, they're still terrible, but at the same time, you know, I want that discussion going on. Compromises maybe should be made in, on, 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 on fiscal things and whatnot. But but with the with Marjorie Taylor Greene in the room, you ain't going to get nothing done. Ain't nothing going to happen. And she's still there. She didn't go nowhere. How do you think kangaroos are doing in North Georgia? It's, I don't know with the temperature up there. I don't know if we get cold at some point. I'm just trying to think of a, a good night. I don't want them to go somewhere where everybody just starts shooting at them. No. I don't want well, them to turn political. Listen, any- Listen, anywhere in the South where there's hunting, people going to shoot at us. Like, oh, we get, guess what we get? What's that? A whole new animal. Oh, when do we get to kill it? I mean, that's just the way it is. Just the way hunters are, the way it's going to be. If a new animal, can, can I kill it? Uh, this only from this time to this time. All right. You know, I'll abide by that as long as I can kill it. I got a few months to here, a few weeks to kill it, whatever. Uh, that's just how it is. Well, maybe um, like Chicago, like a bunch of kangaroos running around Chicago. No, that's bad. They don't want to be there. Don't put the kangaroo in the middle of Chicago. This cause they eat them uh, uh, hot dogs with the the green relish on them. You know them Chicago dogs. You ever had one of them? Box some of them up, take it to the zoo, and feed it to the kangaroo. Don't let a kangaroo loose in Chicago. It ain't good for nobody. Well, the kangaroo, kangaroo. Don't. I don't know if this is a, a like a Fox News crime story. Like, desperate Australian authorities try to rescue kangaroo from gangland crime row. Or if you're saying just a bunch of Yankees live there. Oh, I saw a kangaroo the other day. It was just coming up here, and I told him, well, you need to go over here and do do it this way. It's just a city. A kangaroo, I don't want kangaroo to get hit by a car, period. Baby Jackie, Murfreesboro is on the brink of destruction in several realities. We got to go find Dr. Maxine Limlamp, okay, and Dr. Vanessa Desk, who've combined forces and made the Oops Rolls and the Mess Em Up technologies into Bobo Bridges. And we have to stop them from creating more intertimeline, alternate reality, other dimensional amalgams, half-erased existences, and multiple Jackie verses. These boo-boos are going to cost Murfreesboro its very existence in several timelines. Okay, come on, baby Jackie, let's go. Go, 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 poop, poop, sir, Did you, let me, I got you some uh, goldfish, I got your water here, your sippy cup, and I got your uh, your binky, okay? So we're ready to go. I'm going to put you in your seat here in the car. Oh, hey, Jackie. Oh, hey, Dunlap. Where's she going with that beard, baby? 
That's weird. Well, I tell you what, Murfreesboro is a mess. Everybody's fighting with their alternate, uh, 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 opposite, or whatever it is, reality person, and uh, people are fussing and fighting every, every which way you go. And I, I, I need to get over and check on Mr. Slaw. That's what I need to do. I hadn't talked to him in a while, and I'm worried to death about him in the middle of all this nonsense. He got enough going on as it is. He did he, he don't need all of this. Lord knows none of us need any of this. But Mr. Slaw, bless his heart. Uh, uh, Mr. Slaw? Uh, Mr. Oh. Slaw? Are you oh. awake? I didn't know if I was coming over too too early to check on you. I know sometimes you like to sleep in because you're not feeling so well. But so forgive me oh. if I woke you up a little little too early. Well, no, Jackie, you didn't wake me up at all. I've been up since 4 a.m. I got up and had some... Uh, uh, breakfast and made me some eggs. They say eggs used to be bad for you to eat. Now they're healthy. I'm a. I'm trying to watch my weight. I'm trying to get my cholesterol down. I'm trying to uh, go to the mall, doing that walking around every day. You want to come to the mall, walk around with me today? Oh, well, I I I guess a good for for a little while, sure. Oh, let's go then. You can't walk in them shoes. You're going to hurt your little toes. Jackie, don't you got, got no good ho walking shoes? No, I just got these shoes. are working shoes. That's the only ones I got. Yeah, I can walk in them all. Walk and talk. That's what we should do. Well, let's just take a little walk around the block here, Jackie. You want to do that? Yeah, it don't have to go to the mall to do that. I, I'll do it here. Well, you're yeah. going to have to pick up your pace to keep up with me, old Mr. Slaw. Well, oh. well I'll, I'll try to. Uh, uh, good. It's nice to see you d d d doing so well. You ain't got much time on this earth, Jackie, and the uh, time that you do have. You got to make the most of it. Every day I beg Jesus to let me uh, stay around here just a little bit longer. He said, well, maybe you need to do another lap at the mall. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, I got down in my knees, Jackie. Yeah. Oh, they was hurting. Got them replaced. No knees? Now I'm doing so much better. Well, uh, uh, good, good for you then, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, uh, glad to hear you, hey, Mr. Slaw. Can, can you slow down a little bit? I can't. I'm a little pair of knees. I can't keep up with you. I gotta, you know, pace myself. <laughs> Jackie, can I show you my abs? Well, I. I oh, look at here. Look at uh, here, these abs. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm a sexy man for my age, Jackie. They all say it. Oh. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. I just, you, you, you fit. I, I, I'll give you that. You, for, for your age, you look, you look better than I ever seen you look. I got some shirts in my, in my, in my car. I'm going to take them back to Target because they's too loose on me. I think they should be uh, a, a better fit, a little tighter to show off my abs for my age. Well. If that's what you want to do, I guess. Some of them girls from a church brought some food down to me. Oh, well, good. Well, nice I said, stuff. I can't eat this. Oh, yeah. It's bad carbs. Bad what? Bad carbs, Jackie. But I took a little bite because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. You know what? It was pretty good. I figured with my metabolism, a few bites of a casserole wouldn't hurt. And they told me, they said, Mr. Slow Oh. You're sexy looking for your age. I said, now you go on and get out of here, girls. Mr. Slaw has an age-appropriate girlfriend. Oh, well, I didn't know you had to... You say you somebody? Oh, Jackie, I, I don't want you pride around my personal business now. Well, it ain't my business. <laughs> oh. that's, that's to keep it to yourself if you want to. I just didn't... I didn't expect that. You know, Miss Peach... Miss Peach from the comic strip. Miss Peach, yeah, from a oh. from the comic strip. Yeah, it's the same. They based it on her. They said a school teacher, Miss Peach. Yep, I'm dating a real life one. Well, I didn't know there was a. She's real retired life. now, but we. There's a real life Miss Peach, and I s snapped her up. I, I didn't know anything about a real life Miss Peach, but the comp cartoon's good. So yeah, I guess she's. You're good for you, as long as I was happy and everybody's, you know, 
respecting each other. I met her at the mall, Jackie. Maybe oh. you might meet a girlfriend for you, too. Oh, I don't need no girlfriend. I got a wife. Oh, how's she doing, Jackie? Well, you know, she had a stroke, but she, you know, she just she did, did, doing the best as she can. And when she, she could talk a little bit, but like baby talk. But, you know, I'm, we've been doing that for a while. I'm used to it. I know how, we know how to communicate one another. Jackie, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you here. I can't have this toxic... Uh, uh, complaining nonstop. Huh. Oh, woe is me talking my life. What? I just, just, yes. Life's too short for this, buddy. I got to cut all my toxic friends out. Wait a minute. Oh. Don't, don't seem right. You asked me about my, my wife and I told you that's all there is to it. You don't, I ain't ever seen you act this way, Mr. Slaw. Something don't see. Oh, hang on a second. Have you seen a little beard baby wandering around in here? A beard baby? Yeah, or with, with, with dud lap. Well, I saw a baby jicky. Baby and chicky? I saw a baby jockey. Baby jockey? I, seen, I seen a baby jockey, but I ain't seen a baby, I ain't seen a baby beard, beard baby with dud lap. I seen them other beard babies. How many beard babies is there? I didn't, well, I, mean, I, ain't, I ain't seen but one. And I'm at the mall every day, and I got go around the damn old Navy kids are full of beard babies. Well, this mall is a lot more lively than I ever knew about it. Miss Peach and beard babies, and and you wandering around. This ain't right, and I know something ain't right. I think it's got something to do with Parallels uh, Universes and uh, Al- Auburn it Auburn realities. That's what it is. Well, Jackie, I don't. Sounds to me like you're talking a bunch of uh, flat Earth stuff to me. Why? I ain't got time for that either. We all know the Earth is is round as uh, my other girlfriend, that girl mail carrier. What? Other girl? Look, you you too busy to talk to me. You don't want to hear about my troubles or nothing. Then go on to the mall if that's where you want to go. Sound like everything you like at the mall. Bed babies, Miss Peach, and around one too. Uh, fine if you're gonna act like that. The Mister Slaw I know in love. Uh, would never talk to me that way. Would never be in a hurry for me to leave. And even if he did want me to leave, he wouldn't tell me. He would. I would just take me a while to figure it out, and I'd go on. Well, he sounds like a, a miserable old shriveled up man in a bowl of slaw. No, well, oh. yeah, uh, yeah, but still, that's 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 the Mister Slaw that I love more than this walking around the uh, mall and and flirt with every uh, lady teacher a cartoons based on and. Or, or, or bed babies, or, or, or the round ones. E- either way, I'll take my, uh, I'll take my slaw man shriveled up down in there and complaining and and whining and and hurting. That's a Mister Slaw I want to live with. Well, you do you, Jackie. Oh, bye. Walk, 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 walk.